Question number four. Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Internal Affairs and asks, how will his decision to cut funding by $392,000 a year to the specialist non-fiction service provided by the National Library affect access to educational resources for rural schools? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Peter Mr. Dunn. Mr Speaker, the member's question is based on a false premise. There has been no cut in funding to the National Library, nor have I ordered one. Uh, the service that she is referring to will be an enhanced service, ensuring that more books and resources from the National Library go to more schools rather than sitting on the library shelves in Wellington gathering dust. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary question to the Minister. If there has been no cut, why is the National Library claiming it will save $392,000 through these proposed changes, and that it will loan up to half the number of books that it currently loans under the specialist non-fiction service. Honourable Peter Dunn. Two points. The National Library currently loans around 655,000 books per annum. That will continue in the future. As to the argument about this alleged cut, uh, the, there has, as I said, been no cut. The, uh, the, she's now changing her language to savings. It's a bit like changing from black to white. It shows economic illiteracy. But the reality is, the, but the reality is that there has been an estimate provided by the library, which has yet to be quantified, that there would be a saving of around that figure from this new service. But the point of the matter is, the, the, there have been no cuts ordered. This is about enhancing the service offer, offered to schools, and it will be better all round. Oh. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. At what point will all schools be in a position to take advantage of digital resources equally, given the digital divide that many of our rural and low decile schools face in regard to ICT resources, and will it be in time for these dramatic changes? Mr Speaker. Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, around 90 per cent of schools are on track to have broadband uptake, so the issue is resolved for those 90 per cent. For those schools that are not in that category, the library will be working with them with targeted programs to ensure that they continue to receive the service that they have and that can convert to the new service as soon as it becomes available. Mr Speaker, there are no losers from this plan. Supplementary question, Tracy Martin. To the Minister, did the Minister consider the findings of the 2012 inquiry into 21st century learning environments and digital literacy, which identified that while schools may have connectivity to UFB, access to individual student devices both at home and school continued to be a barrier before signing off on these changes, and if not, why not? Honourable Peter Dunn. Yeah, yes, Mr Speaker. Uh, the 2012 changes informed a 2013 round of consultation on the impact of those changes, and it was on the basis of those two considered pieces of work, which covered, uh, I think in the first instance, around 159 different organisations and a significant number of people in the second instance, that the changes were made with confidence, with support from educators, that this was in the best interests of children moving forward into the digital environment. Supp supplementary question, Tracy Martin. To the Minister, will the Minister consider establishing an implementation phase for the new reading engagement service for any schools still challenged with access to connectivity and digital devices from term three of this year? And if not, why not? Mr Speaker. Honourable Peter Dunn. Mr Speaker, I don't think the member understood or heard correctly my earlier answer, that in those cases where schools do not have the level of connectivity at this point in time, there will be a targeted program to ensure that they can continue to receive the service that they do and that none of their students will miss out. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Supplementary to the Minister. If there are no losers with these changes, as he claims, why is the School Library Association, the History Teachers Association, the PPTA, countless schools including, including those who are isolated and in rural communities, countless teachers and more than 20,000 New Zealanders who have all signed a petition opposed to the changes he's recommending, or doesn't their opinion count? Uh, Mr Speaker, of course, Honourable their, Peter Dunn. of course their opinion counts. Uh, the fact that the Labour Party has stirred up a campaign of misinformation 
And then, sir, when I offered the Labor Party a briefing, it said, yes, thanks, but not for a month yet because we're running this campaign in the meantime. Order. Order. Supplement. Order. Supplementary question, Jacinda Ardern. Took the briefing. We're still right. Supplementary Order. to the Minister. Uh, supplementary question. Supplementary to the Minister. How can he claim, as he has in this House, that the changes his, he is proposing were based on, quote, wide consultation with teachers, librarians and the community, end quote, when his own answers to written questions show that during the consultation process, the changes he is making weren't mentioned once. Mr. Honourable Speaker, Peter Dunn. I make the claim because it's correct. I make the claim because it's right. I make the claim because the changes being made are in the best interest of equipping our children for the digital future ahead of them. If the Labor Party wants to play politics with kids' futures, let it do so. But the reality is that this is about improving service. And, Mr Speaker, let me add one other thing. The member cannot go on playing two games. She cannot go on, as she did last week, thanking my office for the information that it provided her on a particular instance and then raising the issue again in the House today. It is pure, naked politics designed to appease the PPDA. Order. 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 Question number five, Dr. Parmjeet Palmer. Thank you.